um, hello students i hope you are fine okay so today i will uh, tell you how to create two tables okay uh, the first table is uh, emp table and the second table is the uh, department table so first i need to check whether do i have these tables already existing in the uh, in my oracle or no so i will just check uh, select um, uh, static from emp table uh, semicolon is optional if you want to put it is better but in some cases it's better to put the semicolon so now you can see i have this table because i already created the table so it uh, it appears with me so what uh, and then i will check the other table uh, depth table and uh, this table is also appearing with me okay so now i will tell you from the scratch that how to create these uh, two tables so i will drop these two tables before creating because if these tables are already created so i cannot recreate in the same name because uh, the table name must be unique in the uh, oracle database so what i will do it i will show i will drop the drop table emp okay so let's see how it works yeah so now you can see over here the table is dropped so if i just search it now there will be no retain it uh, from emp okay then if i run this one so it means there is no table now uh, let's see the another table select static from uh, depth so if i look at this one yeah the table appears over here so i need to drop this table as well to recreate it so drop table and the table name is depth okay and then i create so both tables are dropped let me check again whether uh, it appears from depth right so uh yeah so both our tables are dropped now let's see how to create these two tables so as i have given you the lab so if you just open the lab right okay you have already done this one so i just uh, drop these two tables to remove it now to create this table so we have a structure over here like for example i just copy this one okay to create the department table so i just paste this uh, code over here so what is in the code so this is the keyword create is a keyword uh, table is a keyword here and the department is your own word so you can you can choose any uh, table name and then the column name the first column name is department number and it's the three digits over here it means like the department number could be like you know three numbers or uh, three uh, space number and the department name and it's a warchar warchar means a variable uh, character and this is a version number two right and this is 14 uh, alphabets you can go for and then have another one uh, which is called like a, a location so location it's also a war chore and it is like a, uh, the alphabets is 13 right and then you put some constraints so constraint means uh, like a, a limitation or for you or like you know you restrict the table that this one uh, like for example the primary key should be department number okay so what does it mean it means that if you keep this department number as a primary key so there are two quality is uh, in in that table that department number column cannot be null is there is you cannot put null values in it second it could not be repeated so you cannot have uh, two records with the same id number it is same like for example it is not possible to have uh, two students with the same id and similarly it's not possible to have uh, two employees with the same id right so that is like you know the structure so constraint constraint is a like you know keyword uh, this is the name of the constraint you can put any one like you can put like you know pk1 pk2 so it's like you know up to you and then you have like a, let's suppose i put pk1 okay uh, and this is a primary key so prime, this is a keyword so you can see the keywords in a different color and then you have like you know this one so let's run this one and see how it works so i hope it works yeah okay that's great so it worked right now let's create another table but uh, uh, if i check the table what is inside it so i just check the table static from depth and you will see that there is nothing in it right no rows found right so we need to insert data in it so let's see uh, let me first create the another table as well okay And similarly, I create the another table, uh, employee table. So the same method, create table, and then the name of the table is EMP. And then I have different columns. 
uh, employee number which is like four digits maximum you can increase it to five you can increase it to five to six so four time being just to save the space i i create i just like put the limit of the four and then i have a e name watch out this one uh variable character uh, version two okay so e name is 20 then job then manager number uh and then hire date when the employee is hired uh the salary salary is a number right and with the um, with the digital points of two and then i have like you know commission so commission is like a number as well and the department is a, a number is like you know maximum three digits and then i put the constraint as well that i need to choose that either this could be an uh, primary key or this could be a primary key but I chose the number why because numbers are unique uh, in nature's employee number let's suppose or student number these are unique and it's a property of the primary key that it must be unique and similarly uh, if you look at this one like uh, uh, and you cannot insert null you can insert null in the e-name you can insert null values null means nothing right so even zero is not a null so there is a difference between null and zero so zero is a value but null is is a no value right you can you can put uh, a null value here you can put null value in this one you can put null value here but you cannot put null value in this one because this is the prop property of a primary key so so i have successfully created my second table as well let's insert some values in it right so um i will uh, i will join these two two tables later on but first let me create the the let me insert some values so that i have i should have some full fledged uh, table so I just copy this code or uh, because to save the time okay you can write it type it and it's very easy just like you know you can have some more columns or, or more rows in it the, the insert is a keyword right uh, into is a keyword EMP is the is the name of the table which we already created values is a, is a values mean that what are the values it's a keyword as well and then we 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 insert the values as per the we created it so the employee number should be the first the name should be the second and then the job title should be the third one and similarly the diet and and the date and the salary and all these things so i inserted almost i think it's 14 approximately let's see it will show us yeah so um, i have like you know inserted all these rows now i remove my this code uh, to be like clear with this one and I query it that whether this table is created or not. Uh, select static uh, from EMP, and then if you see over here, yeah. So now all 14 rows. If you see over here, 14 rows have been inserted in it, right? So this in 14 rows has been have been inserted uh, in it. Now let's uh, insert values into the department table. So static from depth okay so if i just do like this one there is no data in here so what i do here uh similar code you can write for yourself so i just wrote for myself and i then will similar code okay and i copy over here to insert the data so it should be according to there are three columns in it department number uh, department uh, which department it is and the location loc means the location we have it so if you see again the structure of this one uh, when we are creating this department table in the same uh, file so you will notice that uh, like you know there were three columns department number which was a number uh, just i make it bold for you and there was a department name okay so we bold for you and there was a loc loc was the location over here right so these three things are i just mentioned so insert into this keywords department is the name of the table values means that i need to insert the values and then i put like you know 10 accounting new york right so you should, should notice that the these uh, words should be unique i mean it should not be repeated you cannot put 10 10 two times if i do it so there will be uh, a primary key violation and that violation is called a uh, integrity constraint so i will i will show you that how when i insert this one again so that it will show me the integrity constraint because i cannot do uh, do i cannot do uh, two things first thing is that i cannot insert uh, uh, duplicating values secondly i cannot insert the null values right so i will show you in the practice that how uh, this will violate the integrity constraint okay 
The second thing is the differential constraints, which is related to when we connect to uh, tables.